In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to send Stacks, the token STX, to a Stacks wallet. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need a Stacks wallet. And I've made uh, two videos, I'll have those pop up right now, showing you guys how to set up a Stacks wallet either on a web browser or on a mobile phone. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need um, some sort of exchange, right? You're going to need an account on some sort of exchange. And I'm not going to walk you guys through setting up an account on an exchange because, well, one, you'd have to see a lot of my personal identifying information. Um, you will need to have access to your personal identifying information, you know, your address. I don't know about your social security number, but I think so. Um, definitely, you know, a photo ID. And, you know, there are a number of exchanges. Today, we are using Coinbase. Coinbase is one of the largest um, exchanges regulated here in the United States. I'd say it's one of the most popular. And if you guys do not have an exchange, please use my referral links to set up an exchange. There are many exchanges here in the U.S. There's Coinbase, there's Kraken, there's Gemini. Um, there's no longer FTX. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm missing any of them, but use my referral links because that keeps this channel alive, helps me continue doing this. Um, yeah, so anyways, you'll need an account. Um, I recommend Coinbase just because it's the most easy and user-friendly. Once you've set up an account, you're going to want to uh, locate the asset that you're going to want to buy. And once you've also already set up your wallet, you see I already have some assets here. But let's just click on Stacks STX. This is what it looks like. Um, show you guys just the, the price history, right? Um, the peak price of Stacks was close to well, almost three dollars, right? And so today it's sitting at twenty-three cents. So hopefully you're watching this video, you know, sh relatively shortly after I put it out there, because now is a great time to be buying Stacks. Shows you the market cap, less than a uh, half a billion dollars. Shows you the circulating supply. Um, and so we're just gonna buy like, um, just like, let's say $10 worth, right? So you click, let me move myself. Click how much you wanna buy. Click preview buy. Click buy now. And that's gonna take a quick second, but it shouldn't take too long. successful so now we've purchased some STX so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to send that STX somewhere so you're still just going to be on this screen um, but you're going to want to click on wallet and this is going to allow you to send and receive STX so you can see um, my history of transactions I'm always buying, so I'm gonna try and cover up my, my history as much as possible, but I don't really care. Then you're gonna click on your, your Stacks wallet that you've hopefully already set up, copy address. And that's what I, I like about the user interface, right? It's very easy to copy. You can just click these, these two little squares right there and the whole wallet address is copied, right? And so we're going to go here. We're not going to send it all. We're just going to send like, let's say, $5 worth of stacks. We're going to send it in the to field. You're going to paste your address that you just copied. You do not need a memo. You do not need a note. And you're just going to click continue. Make sure it's right. Send $5. Continue. Yes, there is no memo required. Maybe for some things a memo is required, but for us there's not a memo required. So we'll just click yes. And then just confirm everything. There's a network fee. That's kind of a high network fee coming out of Coinbase. The network fees on Stacks are not usually that high, but it is Coinbase. So send now. One thing I encourage everyone to do is make sure they have two-factor authentication set up on all of their crypto accounts, right? People are always targeting 
crypto users for hacking. So you just want to have maximum security. So make sure you're using 2FA. And we wait. And they sent 21 STX, which is five US dollars to the wallet. And that may take a little bit of time to process. So I'm going to just stop the video here and keep a timer and tell you guys how long it takes to arrive in my wallet. Okay, so that took about 10 minutes, which is what you would expect because that is how long a Bitcoin block takes to be created. Um, but now it's in our wallet. And so I hopefully this tutorial was useful and interesting. If you guys like this video, make sure to you know, like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let me know what other Stacks tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks. See you in the next one. Peace.